Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Satisfactory. So after a brief interlude where we have just gone and had a little bit of wandering round, it's time to get back to work, so let's get back to it. Let's let's go with that one. We'll go with the frame one right there. I think we I think we'll use that one. Right, I don't have any more hard drives for a moment, so we'll leave that and I want to go. What do I want to look at? Rebar. I can craft myself some more rebar as and when I need to. I need those. We've got the other materials that we need. Let, let's just double check that I do in fact have the machinery, the, the stuff that I need, which is... Yeah, okay, so I've got plenty of that. I've got the oil pump. Uh, we've got power on its way up through there. So now I can go back over this. You know what I should, I should have... My mistake, I didn't do it, but what I should have done back when I... Let me sort that lot there. When I first had my major accident, was I should have driven the tractor that time. I could have loaded up a load of stuff and we could have driven this tractor that time. I didn't, though, so let's, let's not worry about it too much, but it probably would have been a good idea. Let's... Oh, I got 87 coal in that one, so let me go over here first and... Open workshop. Yeah, I don't need to worry about opening that one. Um, you don't bring fuel over, but I will take a stack of coal out of there and another stack of coal there so that I've got plenty of fuel for my tractor. You over this side. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Right. How do I access the tractor? Drive? Uh, oh, wait. Open the workbench, yeah, and then go to the vehicle. Right, okay. I figured that one out. And uh, I can drop that in. And then... Is there a... Like, you can't shift-click. You, you... No, that... Control doesn't do it. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can easily drop that into there, but it, it doesn't easily drop. I can take all and store all. And then if I right-click, it splits it in half. Oh, I can shift-click out of my inventory, but I can't shift-click the stuff into there. It, uh, for whatever reason, it doesn't actually let me shift click into there. I don't quite know why. Well, what happens if I drive into the conveyor belt? Okay, at least we we don't take damage. And I can go at 40k with this. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Also, I don't know if we're going to be too wide to be able to get through things. Go up round there. Am I going to be too wide to travel over the stuff that I want to travel over? Uh, I want to get over. I need to get. I need to pass through this conveyor belt. How am I going to do that? I have to go up over there. Go like that. Right. It breaks trees. I can go under there. I can get round that bit easy enough. I just need to be able to get on to that bit over there. Is that going to let me? Nope. Well, I can build an on-ramp for that bit, so I can go onto there, and then if I do that, I can then go here, and build an on-ramp there and there, like that. Right, there, on, on-ramp. Drive tractor. And now the big question, I should be able to drive up the middle of that. I should be able to. Except that it's a it does seem to struggle a bit, but I should I should still be able to do it. Struggling a little bit, but I think we'll be alright. Now ooh, if I drive a tractor into one of those big nasty things. Is, like, do they damage, do they blow up the tractor, or do, um, does the tractor do them damage? The tractor just took out the timber, 
I just smashed the tree. And that's a good thing. Now, going up here, I'm faster than the tractor is. I know that much. But then going along the straight over here, if I can keep it running in a straight line. Actually, if I go up against the conveyor belt, it, it should... Oh, it's it's scraping the conveyor belt and, this, and that sort of stuff. It's, it's also trying to dance a little bit, so we're not achieving full speed. I'm doing 58 to 60k. And, yeah, we're, we're lagging a lot. Oh, yeah, we got, uh, we got vehicle health right there. I'm assuming then, with vehicle health, it means that it will take damage from those nasty things. And also, it could potentially take fall damage. So I need to be very, very careful about taking fall damage and, and not driving off the edge of the ramp. That would be my... Uh, I'm, I'm going to make an assumption here in that we cannot drive off the edge of the ramp because otherwise that's another uh, another situation where we, we get a little bit of bad juju. Bring this one up. He does, he, he does sort of drive up. He struggles a bit. But he's getting there slowly. Now I've got to get round the corner. Uh... Hmm. This is not as easy as I thought it would be. Once we've got the oil, and we've got, we have actually got that bit. I mean, it's taking a long time to actually get the oil, admittedly. I've been working on this little project for quite a while. I think it's going to be worth it. Once we've done it, it will be worth it, because then we can get a train going backwards and forwards, and we'll have all the extra bits and pieces to go with that. It's, it's going to be absolutely glorious. It really is. It's, it's going to be wonderful. We're going to love it. And we're going to have a lot of fun with it. The, the train is going to be like the bestest thing ever. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be absolutely glorious, fantastic, lovely and wonderful. We know that. We're, ab we're absolutely certain of that. It's going to be great. I'm wondering if I've got to bring two belts back. How am I going to go about doing that? Is that going to be very easy to bring two belts back? Or have I got to very carefully go through and place um, the the pillar, like the, the extensions? Or do they automatically get placed? If I put a belt one on top of the other, will it automatically place the extensions? I hope that it does, but I very much doubt that somehow I don't think that's going to work. I think that it's going to be quite a time-consuming process to bring the belt back from here. At least we've only got to bring it back from this far. Right? All, the belt from this point on the, all the way up is only for oil. We're not going to be bringing back any other resources along this belt. Um, I mean, we may not even need the belt. We may ultimately end up just being able to use the train and not doing anything with the belt. And then we, we can actually pick up the belt and bring it all back. If we can do that, that'd be absolutely great. It would definitely make our lives a lot easier. Mm, I... I'm starting to think that we're faster with our Blade Runners. The, um, uh, overall, I think it would have been, this, this return journey would have been faster using the Blade Runners and running through than it is driving this one. I, we're a little bit faster on the straights with this one, but not that much faster. I don't know what speed we get with the Blade Runner, but it doesn't go, like, it set. The speedo thing has got a top speed of 150k, but we're not getting anywhere close to that. Oop, steady. Right, don't drive off the edge. Bring that back round there. And then go up through here. Now, this is where we got to be a little bit careful. I mean, if I lose a tractor, I lose the tractor, I suppose. I'm, I'm, I guess that's not the end of the world, but it might be nice to use it for a bit of exploration up this way, especially as it does appear to smash trees. That could be quite a cool little feature that we can make use of. So I'll bring you out over to here. Down that way. Steady. Brakes on. And down through there. Right, that, that, that's working fairly well. So far, we don't have anything nasty down here underneath us that's threatening to spit stuff at us. Although, there was 
those down there, just, just to our left hand side now, there was a couple of rather nasty looking critters down there. And we've got explodable rocks over there as well. So those are a little bit of a concern. Let's keep going. And I will stop this one just here. I've got... Let's bring you over to there. I'm going a little bit further. No, I'd like to do... I know what I forgot to do. I know what I forgot to do. Yeah, you all know what I forgot to do as well. I forgot to bring a parachute. I meant to bring parachutes. Because I'm pretty sure at this point, parachutes are going to be rather valuable. They're, they're, they're going to make a little bit of a difference to us. Right. Uh, let's... Whoa. Let's not do that in future. I, 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 just, I, I vote that we don't do that in future. Next time we, we, we use the ladder. Why can't I use the ladder? Oh, because the, the ladder's this way round. Yeah, I, I, I vote that I use the ladder next time. And I think in order to use the ladder, because I can go up part way like that. And I can just go up like that. But yeah, if, if I go to here, I don't want to step forward. If I step backwards, like that. There, and then I can climb down. Right, okay, so as long as that works, as long, as long as I know that it works, I'm on the ladder. I've got these things here. I have actually want to have the food in my hand now. Go that way. Right, eat up. And down we go. Right, go over there. Now, I'm going to leave that one bit over there for a minute and I'm going to go along the top of here I might want to get back up around that one it's nice that I've got this ramp that runs all the way along here this is actually really really good having this ramp all the way along here and then I should be able to use it to do some more building work up here drop you into there and I can also start clearing some of those Right, so plan is I will come down in pairs on this one. So put that one there. And under. And again. Right. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I want to go out again. And then I want to go like that. There. That's a pair. And, oh, no, I want to go like that. Right. Hmm. Which way do we want to go now? I think we might want, you know, I need to bring that out one further. And then I think we might actually want to bring it in this way. And we'll bring it down like that. There we go. Getting the hang of this. Being able to do it from here is a lot of... I'm going to travel over there in a minute and we'll carry on and do it from that side. I will just lift up the spare concrete that we don't need here. Let's put that one... Oops. Uh, okay, well, I went, I went too far on there. I took things too far once again. Right, do that. And now remove the excess concrete like this. And take that one all the way up to there, like that. Right, that's all the excess concrete. I'm going to leave that one over there so that we can get back up onto the ramp should we need to. And we'll keep walking down over here. I know that we've got some nasty stuff down there. I'm just not sure how much nasty stuff we've got at the moment. There's the odd bit of bacon around as well. Right? I'm, I'm just saying that it's it's not all bad here in this region because there is bacon that grows on on the sidelines. And, and anywhere that actually grows bacon is is obviously... That it, it, there's merits. The, the, there, is, there is bits to it. Come on. That one. Go there again. 
Ooh, there it went. And under there, like that. And then I'll do another one out in front. Right, that's far enough over that way. How have I got two of them here? I don't even know how I managed... I don't even know how I managed to do that. That's quite impressive, actually. We come back over here. We've got a green slug over that side. I don't know how far I'm going to be able to go on this big, tall... But there's definitely ribs, isn't it? Uh, it's not just me. This, this is an ancient rib cage of some enormous great big beast. Some massive, monstrous monster that lived here eons ago. And this is all that's left of it. It's just, just this giant rib cage stuck out the ground. And that's, that's why we've got oil here, because oil is like fossilized remains of, of ancient creatures. Um, at least that's what it is on Earth. So that's, that's what we got. We've got the fossilized remains of ancient creatures. Only the ancient creatures in this one, it's not ancient creatures at all. It's an ancient creature. It is just one. It is singular and not plural. Come over here. Ah, there we go. Put you down there, and then we can start just picking through these again. Like that. And, uh... Possible to get... Oh, I can't reach one in front at the moment. Can remove those. Up there, like that. There we go. Right. At least it's getting closer to the ground. This is a really good thing. We're getting closer and closer to the ground, but... What is that? Can I do anything with that? Is that, like, a, a thing that's going to be in the way? Is it going to cause, cause me problems? There seems to be things down there, but I suspect that they are heavily guarded by some rather nasty characters. And that's the bit that concerns me ever so slightly, is the nasty characters that are doing the guarding. Because we've already encountered one of them, and we had a long way to go in order to get back from our encounter. So I don't really want to have to do that again if I can help it. There. And... The one underneath? Hmm. Can't quite get one under there, can I? So I'll clear those. Clear that one. There, that's fine. And we head on down this way. The fireflies, so long as we get plenty of warning for those fire... There's bacon down there. Now where was... That one's up there. We, we ought to be able to reach over and grab that one. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that. We can always go hunting for these things again at a later date. Not sliding down at all, no. Right, we're all the way over here. Where's the oil? Is this, is this the oil that's like right underneath us? 90 meters that way. I'm thinking that's something to do with the oil right there. Which means that it's probably guarded. Means there is probably something here that is going to stop us from being able to use it. Quite how we're supposed to do this, I, I don't really know. So let's go up there and put you and then you over there. And then we go back again with our ramp. We're almost done. We're almost all the way down now. Oh no, I want to go out this time. And then I want to take that one over, like that. Uh, there. Like that. I'll, I'll pick up the rest of them in a minute. Yeah, because I, I still want to... I'm sort of thinking... I'll, I'll go out one more down bit with the ramp, like that. And you over there, and then that one to there, and, well, ooh. oh, oh, yeah, I, I do need, okay, I'm going to have to stop from over here, which means that I kind of want to go that direction. This is where it's going to get a little bit more tricky to kind of bring this thing down all the way to the bottom. We'll, we'll figure that out in a minute. So let's go, first up, we'll go up, we'll go back to that one, and we'll remove those. So I can go all the way to them. Take that one and that one. And uh, we'll leave that lot over there. Right, we've got this one. We've got that. That's loaded. 
And now we need to try and see what's around here. So where's the oil? And also what's guarding the oil? There is... There is absolutely something guarding us here. Oil! Crude oil, right here. What's this? Pick leaves. That's mussels. And seriously, that's, that's mussels growing in the oil. Right, we've got the oil. I've got a purple power slug right here next to the oil patch, which is fantastic. Uh, let me have a look. Okay, I've got plenty of space, so I can pick all, I can pick all the bacon that I can get. But we're not going to eat the bacon this time. I'm going to avoid eating the bacon. Pure oil right there. As there's a whole big patch of oil here. There's like several bits of it that we can use. Okay, this is very cool. I like this. So what are these great big tall things? Can we remove those? Like, can I, can I chop that down? Be the one to find out. Uh, well, I can pass right through it, but it doesn't get cut. Let's keep our weapon. We keep this weapon up at the moment. I want to have a look round. I'm absolutely certain I seen something nasty patrolling this area from when we were up there somewhere. I'm certain I've seen something nasty on this island. But I don't know where it is. Cru m more crew. Wow. Okay, there is a massive amount of oil all in one spot here. Like, or, like what, it, it appears that when you find the oil, you, you've got like loads and loads of different bits that you can go and harvest. There's something under there. What was that? And... I know that there was a crash site around here somewhere. The crash site was over there, and that had a whole load of the fly things on it. I'm not interested in getting those flies involved. Have we got any more uh, more bacon? Take all the bacon, because we can, we can make those medical inhaler things with the bacon, can't we? Over this side. It's very dull and dreary around here. I can't see very much. I'm going to go and explode the bit over the other side that was ready to be exploded. Right, why have we got explosions available? Oh, I see, right. There's nothing else in here. But in order to be able to get that one out, you've got to explode. I may as well just do that one right now. Very nervous. There are other things around, I'm sure of it. So let's toss that one in there. And then blow that up. Excellent. Oh, seriously? I can't reach it? <laughs> can't quite reach that one. Okay, fine. I've got one more here I can put up. And I'll blow that one up up there. Kablamo. Wait, what? Ah, now I can pick it up. Collect green power slug. Right. I now have a green power slug. And I will keep that one, just in case anything nasty turns out. Daylight is returning. I want to finish doing our ramp. i got to decide how... What, what's the best approach we get in that ramp down to the bottom now? What's, what's the best way to go about doing this? we got... i got mycelia down here, so I could go and build myself a parachute as well. There's another slug up there. Uh, well, we, we want to remove that. And that one. We'll remove both of these sections like that. Up to here. And I don't want to pass through these. But those right there, I, I don't seem to be able to do anything with. I'm, I'm kind of thinking that I want to go in that. Well, I honestly, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the best way to get down from here is. Ooh, bacon. I have that. Let's go from here. See, I got that. That one right there is in the way. If I go that direction. I could go back up. Let's go back up a little higher. We'll go up a little bit higher up to here. I'll bring it to there. And then we'll start bringing our ramp off that way. 
like that. And then go underneath it. Put you like that. There. This will be a bit better way. Um, there. That one. And I need to go like that. And another one. And then another one. Right. Let's get that's that's a little bit more like it. I bring that one out. I will go down one more, I think. So I put one there and then a piece underneath and another one. Piece underneath and one out there. And then we'll remove the excess like we normally do. Not that we need to. We've got plenty of concrete now and we're, we're, we're no longer sort of short on concrete. The great thing about having the ramp all the way over here is that once it's down on the ground over here, it does mean that we can have everything here over this side will also be perfectly in line with absolutely everything that we've got over at our other base. Now, that may not be, you know, a, a tremendous thing for many people, but for me, I, I think... For some reason, I find the idea immensely pleasing. Right, I want to remove a whole load of these. Wow. Oh, it's not going to let me do it because I've got too many leaves here. Right, I've got the power slug. I've got those. Can I get rid you know, I've got the timber. Well, what can I get rid of? If I can swap that over. There. If I swap that over... No, I don't, I don't want to eat that either. Alright, we'll swap that back. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go right here a second, and I'm going to go there. I'm going to go to a craft bench. Like that. And then... Oops. I'm going to go into here on the craft bench, and I'm going to take that one. Power shard right there, and I'm going to make that one. Oh, there, I've, I've made the power shard, and then I want to go with that one as well, and I want to make that power shard. There, five. Turn that into a power shard. And I've now got a little bit of spare room on the, the thingy, so let me now just get rid of the bench. Like that, and then, in theory, I should now be able to zap some of those... And yes, they'll do a whole wide area of them. That's that's brilliant. Right, my cilia. So that, that does actually pick up my cilia. So the, the, the bits there, they don't do anything. You here. That disappears. Right, that's good. So that one there, but the, the, the tall one doesn't disappear. Does that one disappear? No, that one does disappear. Alright, I've now got I've got a bit of a landing space. That's what I want. That's what I was after. Ooh, I've now run out of space again. So we want to go there. I'll ditch those. The timber. I'll ditch that. What's that? That's mycelia. Ooh. Now I could make my parachute. No, I, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to do that now. Right. So I've, I've got a few bit. Let's, let's ignore those. What I will do a second, if I come over, can I find anything that's going to, like, grab that so that I, I don't think that huge, great, big one there is, is going to be one that's removable. I can do it like that, and this one here, that one does disappear, but the other... Oh, three mycelia. <gasps> I picked up crude... I picked up crude oil when I did that. My first ever bit of crude oil. And there we have it, folks. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop things now because we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.